What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel, and today we are overviewing The Sims 4 Dine Out Game Pack. This um, game pack came out yesterday, and it depends on when you're watching this, but I'm filming this on Wednesday, the day after Dine Out came out, because, you know, I couldn't get the game, because, you know, <laughs> Keter Card won't go through, you know, that's how we do. And, um, yeah, I have been kind of MIA, I'm still in school, but I get out in about a week or two, and it's gonna be so much fun, because I'm gonna get so much videos out for you guys, it's gonna be kind of crazy, alright? Alright. Um, so, here we are with the Dino Expansion Pack, and, um, we have all the things that we have here. Um, we have create unique restaurants and build a variety of restaurant venues from a classic diner to an upscale Italian bistro, or customize pre-made restaurants using new objects and decor. Personalize your space by adding an outdoor patio, comfy booth seating, or unique signage. Become a restaurantpreneur. You are in control of owning and running a restaurant. Hire and outfit staff. Set the menus and prices and chat up diners to improve customer satisfaction. Dine out with your sims. Take your sims out to enjoy a delicious meal with exceptional service. Restaurants are the perfect place to catch up with friends over brunch, spend time with family, or have a romantic date, all without having to do the dishes. Experiment with new food. Sims with adventurous taste can dig into experimental cu cuisine that, that looks almost too good to eat. Serious foodies can snap food selfies to memorize to memorialize these edible masterpieces and learn to cook them at home. So, um, apparently, I'm kind of confused as to why Dine Out wasn't incorporated into Get Together, I mean Get to Work. I'm confused as to why Dine Out wasn't incorporated in Get to Work. Like, isn't that like retail like thing? But I don't know, it might be different, I'll have to wait and see. But so far, I know that there is a Simstagram, and that is where um, the foodies can snap food selfies and post them on Simstagram, and they can learn how to make it at home. It's going to be pretty fun, so let's hop right into the okay, cast. Okay guys, we are now here in the cast creation, and um, this pack actually came with quite a bit of cast items, so let's just tackle them all. So let's start with the hair. Um, there are three new female hairs, and it's this one which is like a bob cut, if you would like to call it that. Um, I feel like, like a mother would more wear this. Um, and uh, yeah, over here, this is one of my personal favorites. It's a like waitressy kind of hair, and like it's just the perfect hair for a waitress. And you know, it's just like all, you know, tackled as in one, and it's all compacted, and nothing looks loose or anything, you know, because that's how waiters have to be. They have to be like, you know, top notch. And over here, this is like a hair for a sim that is gonna like go out and is really classy. So I feel like that would really like fit like a really classy sim or really proper or perfectionist sim. Like when they're going out like for their party wear or something, you know. And the colors for this hair do change, as you can see. They all do change. Like, yeah, they all change. But, the barrette doesn't change, so it just stays green, which I feel like it's not a good idea. Because, like, it just can't match with all the outfits, you know? And, um, yeah, those are all for the hairs. In hats, we- what is this? Oh yeah, get together, of course. Um, over here, we got one new hat. This is a chef hat, and I really like it. It's really cool. It comes in a few colors, which I really do like. And I really like it, but it's more for the chef, not like the waiter. In clothes, for style looks, we got this, which is like this, you know? This, which is, oh. This, which is like a chef outfit, which I really do like, you know? And over here is a waitress outfit, which I really do like. And this last one is just like, you know, I'm going out, okay? Really proper. You know. In shirts, we got two new shirts. We got this shirt. I'm not gonna lie, it's not my personal favorite. I feel like it's kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie. You might like it, but that's your personal preference. I just feel like it's boring. And over here, um, this is like a really good shirt for a waitress. Like it has all the badges that like a waitress has, you know, like bartending, beer, woohoo, aliens, you know. 
cherries, wine, a club sign, astronauts, um, it's crazy, I like it. And there's like hot dogs, mixology, and a fox, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And some handwriting. And this shirt comes in quite a few colors, but it only changes the stripes, colors, and the, the buttons don't change colors, sadly. Um, in full body, we got a few new outfits. So first is this, which is like this uh, chef outfit, and it matches with the hat, so if you want to use the hat, it matches with this. Um, this is the dress that was in the styled look, and it doesn't all come in flowers, it can be in a base solid color if you would like. You know, it's pretty cool a lot, I guess. Pretty cool, I guess. Over here, um, this is like um, another like decal like dress except it's not all decals it's it comes in solid colors as well i feel like this is my favorite color like i just like it like it's really relaxed you know i like it over here this is like a like professional professional waitress outfit or like an air host assistant or something like i like it like it's really nice it's really classy i really do like it um over here we have the waitress outfit with you know the classic pens the you know the pad whatever and it comes in all sorts of colors as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty nice. And this is like a dirty chef outfit or waitress outfit, depends on your preference of using this for. Um, but I really like the dirty one because it's, it's just so realistic, you know? And then there's this last one, which is like definitely a flight assistant or flight attendant, whatever you call it. And I really like it. like. I could see my sims in the bakery working this, you know? It just looks like it would be used in a bakery or a restaurant. So, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. In bottoms, we got two new- let me just get a shirt. In bottoms, we got two new bottoms. We got this one, which is really high-waisted, and it comes in a lot of colors. I really do see myself using this a lot, because it's just- I like it. And then we have this skirt- I mean, then we have this jeans with- you know, the little pamphlet thing in the front, and it changes different colors with the pants as well. So I think, I thought that was pretty cool, you know? And, um, for the guys, um, quite a lot actually came for them, which I'm really surprised. So let's start off with the hair. Let me take off his hat. Um, there was one new hair that came with the guys. It's like the sleek back hair. What was that? What is this? What is this? I think they missed the patch piece in the hair, you know? But I think that, that it's just like, um a glitch or a bug or something that they just could fix and um modders could just remesh the hair and make it you know normal and um yeah this is the new hair i really like it sleek back you know pretty cool pretty cool um they also got a new hat which is the chef hat and it matches so like if i chose the red it would match with the whole outfit so i thought that was pretty cool and um yeah so we're just gonna leave them with that on first style looks the guys obviously got the chef outfit as well um they also got this waiter outfit i really like it i like the glasses um for um another waitress or waiter outfit this is also an option which i really like more classy and over here this is like a relaxed like you're going out to the club or something type of look so i really do like it um for full body outfits there is oh okay. For tops, there is actually quite a lot. There is this, which is like, um, like a tuxedo kind of shirt that's kind of more relaxed, you know? And I really do like it. This is more of like a fitted, like, collared shirt, which I also do like. Um, this one is more of a sleek back kind of look, like you're going out, but I could see some a sim wearing this inside, like not going out. You know, it's pretty cool. And I could also see a sim wearing this to like, you know, work or at home, to be honest. And it's really do not, it's really nice. Um, over here we have the, you know, the same waiter badge thing that comes with the females. And we have this new outfit thing with no pants right now, but you know, I'm pretty sure there's pants, right? And you can't change colors on this, unfortunately. Um, in full body, there is this chef's outfit, which comes in an array of color, as you can see. There's this waiter outfit, 
which also comes in an array of color. Ignore the shoes. Just ignore the shoes. Please ignore the shoes. Over here, we have this other waiter outfit, which also can get dirty, like with stains or whatever. And I just thought those were hearts. Never mind. Never mind. Um, over here we have this other waiter outfit, and there, I feel like there's like more waiter outfits for the guys than there are girls, but I, you know, I don't know. This, I don't know what this is. Like, what is this? I, I don't, I think, it, I don't know. I feel like that would be like something the owner would wear of a restaurant. Something the owner would wear of a restaurant, to be honest. And, um, yeah. Over here, this is like a cash ear type of outfit, like, I, I see a cash ear wearing this. Um, there is this tuxedo, which is more, I mean, this is, this is a suit that is more relaxed, and you know, it's pretty nice, and you know, it's kind of, the collar's not buttoned, the thing, the coat's not buttoned, and this is a fitted suit that is also really nice, it's really classy, like a businessman type of look, and doesn't actually have to go with, you know, the whole dine-out thing, and over here is another fitted suit, which I also do like, I love that there's a lot of suits, because I love suits, you know, bottoms, we got these, you know, the, jeans with the little pocket thing in the front and we got the fitted pants to go with the top for girl kids we got this new hair which has flowers in it and it's something that they could wear to the restaurant um in hats we did not get anything i feel like it would have been really cute if they had little chef hats but you know it's just me it's just me all right um in style looks we got this like new dress because we were running low on dresses for girls and I feel like that was pretty, this is a good one. Like, it's different, you know? I really like it. Um, for tops, we got one top, which is kind of like a lace kind of top. And it's pretty nice. I like it. Um, for full body, they got one dress, which is the same dress that I was telling you guys about in the style looks. For pants, they got this skirt. And it comes in pattern and solid colors. For accessories, they got nothing, and for shoes, they got nothing. Sims that are little children. Um, we got this sleek back hair, which I really do like. I feel like it's really cute, you know? It's different, you know? We don't we don't have something like this. You know, it's really good. I really like it, all right? Um, for clothes, uh, did they get chef hats? No. For tops, they got this, you know, little button-up vest, which is really nice. I really do like it. Um, they got this kind of relaxed, kind of like, I'm just gonna throw this on and go to the restaurant, alright? Okay, and we are going to head into the town, and we're gonna see all the new custom lots that they have built. So, within this game pack, EA has provided us with six venues that are pre-made restaurants that your sims can go and go and have dinner, or lunch, or breakfast, I don't know, I don't know. So, this restaurant is kind of like a more subtle, modern, little New York vibe. So, over here, this is like a more bar area, like this is the bar, and I'm pretty sure this is the restaurant, so it was a bar and a restaurant, so over here, you can make a request. So, you can go and sit down, and whatever. Over here is a bathroom, and this is the chef's area, and all these furnitures will be, you know, looked through. Um, and this back here is like boxers or whatever, and that's, oh, and there's an outdoor patio where you can go and eat, and that's pretty nice, so, uh, yeah, that's Logan's pretty cool. Burger bar, and this is more of like, um, like an outdoor restaurant, so over here, so, oh, this is more of like an outdoor restaurant, so we have our tables, I feel like there's like a more of a 90 vibe, you know, with the chairs, you know, what is this? Turn this on, what is that? We'll see. Um, but this is where you make your reservations. And here is the chef's part, and there's the half wall that goes with it. Over here is, I think that, over here, over here is like a decoration. And if we go in here, this is the chef's area where he puts the plate flair. And in here is the bathroom. This is the Chez Llama. And this is more of a classy bar or restaurant. I mean, it even has like a balcony and stuff, you know. I'm assuming this is where you can hang your coats or whatever. And over here is a lounging area where you can wait for your, you know, table to be called. This is the waiter area, your reservations list, I think. Um, over here are the dividers. In here is the bar. And I really like this, you know, half wall thing. 
Um, over here is the seating. Um, I remember they have the seating in The Sims 3, and you know, it's pretty fun. And over here, every restaurant has this. It's like where they put, like, where they wash all the plates and whatever, and that's where they put the plates like, to wash later. And yeah. So over here is a piano. I guess there's like private like music. And down here is the seating, which I feel like this is a really classy diner or dinner place. Um, and back here is like the backstage or whatever. And um, if we go upstairs, there is nothing. There's like the balcony. I'm assuming up here is the bathroom. Is there any bathrooms in here? Oh, the bathrooms are, yes, upstairs, and they're right here. They're really classy. And out here is a terrace. And for a second, I thought this was a door that leads to Nora, but you know, that's just me. And that is basically this restaurant, and I this love this sign. This is another restaurant. This is more of like a 90s vibe or like a diner. Um, it's really like more casual in here and it's more diner like like you know with all the textiles and it's kind of a retro feel so i really do like it there's like the seating area the server area and the toilet place you know and there's outdoor seating of course and oh i really like this this is cool it's like a, a sunroof or something and um uh, yeah so that is basically this place this is more of like a water like restaurant like a restaurant that's on water you know and um yeah so over here this is the fish tanks and it's pretty cool you can purchase fish i mean i don't think that's the safest thing but you know um over here is where you can you know get to your table the chef's area the cleaning place the outdoor patio the indoor seating and the bar and the lounging area also the bathrooms are over there and it's like on water like that's really cool it's really classy it reminds me of the lucky palms by the shore houses like this is like the style that we made of i think that's okay cool. and this is more of like a diner you know kind of casual something you would find like in the south i would believe um so here is like the classic you know um streetish kind of vibe with like the you know blue floors the brick walls I feel like they should have blocked this off because like it just doesn't like look right you know and they have like a lot of pictures and they have um the bathrooms and the outdoor seating and the indoor seating so i think that's pretty cool and um yeah this also reminds me of the lucky palms houses because you know it's just lucky palms and one day hopefully i can review this one time hopefully cars i really hope we get cars just saying side noted and um yeah let's go back to our lots and let's go and review the items that came with this expansion pack um all right so let's start with the cast item no let's start all right let's start with the build and buy item so let's start off with these these are like counters i would think and they come like different colors and you know i really like this color but i like the white over here this is like another decoration it's like a seating area i would believe um let me get some wall in here because we're gonna we're gonna need some wall um over here is like the master chef shelf like i would think you would put like all your you know pots or whatever up there over here is our spoons we have our sink we have the fish tank which i am in love with we have this table, Lily, so I'm gonna put these up here. I feel like we need more flowers, so these are perfect. We have this, which is like a wallflower, I would think. Like that, like you could put it against the wall. This is like a bigger flower that you can put like, you know, in a room. And I believe you can put these, yep, you can put those up there. And these, you could also put up here. These are gigantic, like, these can go in like, you know, like the living room or something. And so are these. These are all gigantic. And I feel like this was much needed because we were running out of plants, to be honest. Like, these are so nice. Like, I love them. This is a wall accent, so you can put this, like, on a wall. Let me just change the height of this real quick. Um, let's make it that high. Um, and let's put the... I think this is, like, a decal. And this is another one, which is bigger. We have a wine painting, which these are really high quality. Um, an orange painting. I feel like this would be custom content, but you know, I like it. Um, this is also really nice. This is leaves. This 
by color painting with sequence. Um, we move some stuff over, which is like frames of like um, sailboats and stuff, which I feel like that would go in the Lucky Palms, you know, restaurant. This is like a Japanese maple tree painting, which I really, really love. All right, Japanese, Jap bleh. Japanese maple trees are really, really nice. Now we have these curtains. We have these curtains, which are shorter. We needed new curtains, so I'm really happy we got these. We have this simple advertising, like, you know, the hutch thing, you know? I like they have over the door, like that thing. So like, we got that. Um, we got this chalkboard, which is like fish. Um, we got this signature seal, which is like the the seal of like the restaurant or whatever. This is what they have. This is so small. This is like you could put on the table, like as the menu, you know. Like what's on like the the, the house today? This is leaning digital. So I think this is also a part of the table. So like these are like salt and peppers or something. I think that's where you order and call for a waiter. Um, this is an olive jar. Um. This is a salt and pepper shaker. This is a salt and pepper shaker. Um, this is a spice, like that go in the, um, the chef's place. This is like a water pour thing that like the servers have. That's cool. We have a pot of peppers. We got some pots. So we can, I really, can we, no, we, I really wanted to put those on the shelf, but no. Um, we have no mess, no rug, no mess rug, no mess, no slip, no mess rug. Um, we have the menu archive, which is like that. It has like the menu in it. Um, we have the uh, the sign that hangs off, like you know, like like in Europe, like in Europe, like they have this, like like on every like short stop or short, like like at every um store. Yeah, that's the word. This is like a neon sign for more like a pub or a club. This is life. This is a lily on a wall. And it looks like it goes through, but like, you know, it doesn't, like, it's like a mirror. Um, this is an olive oil rack. This is the what's on the menu, I think this is my favorite. Um, this is the, the fish, like, if you want to open a marine, like, fish, like, um, place, like, to eat. This is, like, more of, like, a Japanese, like, food place, I feel like, just because of the fire, you know, hot. It's really, like, it screams Japanese to me, you know? Um, this is like a fire, like a water like thing that we had these and get to work but they couldn't go on the wall so I think that's pretty cool. Um, this is a bamboo, bam, bambus, bambus, bam, I don't know how to say that. Um, this is like a decoration, I don't know what that is, just a decoration. This is a ship. This is a nectar wall for like the club or the bar. This is a lighting wall. Ooh, this is like cascading rocks or something. Let me just make more wall. Okay, make this. Okay, that's max height. Um, this is like decoration for like the wall. I really like this. Like, it just makes it look so cool. Like, just imagine like seeing like in front of this. Like, that looks super really good. Um, this is an LED tree accent. This is the menu stand that was in front of the host like thing where you made a reservation. This is a room divider which we saw in the restaurant. This is another room divider. And another room divider. And this is a pantry rack. Alright. Over here we have our pot in a corner. A little light. All oh, these like the candles like go in the middle. I think they have them these in Sims too. Really like it. Um, light in the bottle, candles. Um, box? What is this? What is this? Oh, this is a light! I can't really do much with the lights, but the lights look so cool. Like, look at these. These are amazing. Like, I definitely see myself using these. Like, put this one. And this one. And this one. And we got these new chairs. Alright, we got this new chair. We got this new chair, which is kind of like the one from that Sims 3 set with the wedding, but it has like, it doesn't have like the bow in the back, you know? Um, we have the like, booth one. Let me just get myself a mother load, alright? Mother load. Um, okay. Um, we have the booth part, 
Um, we have the connection to the booth. We have another connection to the booth, so we can be like kind of close in, but it's like a different booth part, which I like. Um, so like it can go like this. It can be like a really big booth, you know? And we have our bar stool. Just gonna leave that there. And we have another um, sectional booth with a table in the middle. Um, we have another one here. And I want to see if this wall trim... Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I like this. Yay! I like that. That's really cute. Alright. Um, let me filter this to dine out again. Um, we got the potted plant or whatever. Um, any new doors? Yes, we got this, a new door. And a double door. Um, where can I put this double door? Um, I'm gonna make another wall. Right here, for this double door. Like that? I love this double door, it's so classy! Like, I just, just love it, you know? Um, we got this new pole, which is like the botanical- I don't know, this is like the classy one. More for family dinners one. This is a kitchen, which I feel like it's like a starter kitchen. Over here is another kitchen part. Um, this is the dining area. This is a booth. This is another dining area. And let's just go, because I didn't see the stoves. So like, I don't know what's up with that. I found this cave nectar. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, we have this chef station which is the one where you put the poles on top and it doesn't have the section in the middle. This is the one with the section in the middle. Where can I put this? Does it have to be attached to a wall? Where does this work? It must be placed on a wall, yeah. So like, it has to be like this. Like, so it can like go like, you know? I was thinking that it would be like, um, just like you could place it like regularly and put a half wall under it, but it's not the case. We got this dishwasher, which I feel like it's classy. Um, do we get anything else new? I don't think- Oh, we got new tables. We got this ready square table, which is like for weddings, and I really like it. It looks like something that will come in like the wedding one. I forgot what it's called. I don't know. But, it's the wedding one. Um, we have this utensil sign. We have this chef sign. We have this other sign. And this other sign that lights up. No, it doesn't light up. This coffee sign. These, these all decals, like, this is crazy, like, decals, like, pretty crazy, you know? Um, we got all these decals for the wall. Then we got the strips, of course. Um, did I miss anything else? I don't think so. Um, and then there's this other, like, sign, which I really like. I don't know if I went over that. But, you know, that's basically all for this game pack. I really do like this game pack. Um, and now, let's go and see how to run a diner and go and work. Like, you know, we're gonna go and eat at a diner and go and work at one. Alright? So let's go and experience that now. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so let's go and travel to one of the diners. I wanna see this. So we're gonna go and request our table. Are you gonna, like, take our order? Oh, and I forgot to review this, but this is like the cash register thing, so I think that was pretty cool. So now we're gonna go and wait to be seated. Okay, so how long is it? Oh, we're going to be seated now. Oh, we got the classy seats. Okay, before. Um, so now the waiter's like, this is your seat, right? Right. So this is where we here's your table, enjoy your meal. So the kids have their menu, I mean the, the family has their menu, oh my god, all the kids have their menus. I thought the kids could like, oh yeah, we can draw on, we can draw on the placemat. So we're gonna draw on the placemat. We could bring out cakes, can you like have your birthday like here? Can you? I wanna see you draw. You can draw on the placemat, where are you going? Don't, please, sit back down. Oh, here's our waiter! Oh my gosh. Let's order for table. Order for the table. Please go back and sit down. I feel like 
a glitch would like an error would be like to go and like just stand which is annoying because i used to happen to me in sims 2 when it would piss me off so bad um but these are the drinks and the appetizers and the main course and the dessert so we have all these drinks we have um the sweet and spicy which is the chef's choice water coffee a lot of liquor um so we're gonna order water sparkling water for the table oh we can pick um no we'll get sparkling water for the kids sparkling water for the kids and we'll get the simapolitan for both of them okay for an appetize for uh, for an appetizer we're gonna get this foam jelly for everyone um for our main course we're gonna get the chef's choice for all the sims um for dessert we'll also get the chef's choice for all the sims and yeah it's basically like an online like menu which i thought was pretty cool um and our bill is a total of 122 dollars so let's confirm okay let's confirm this and now we're going to wait for our order to be placed by the staff Okay, go and sit down. So I want you guys to like do something. We can bring out a cake. We can bring out a SimCity cheesecake. What's a SimCity cheesecake? We can bring that. Ooh. Let's sit here and chat. Okay, so now talk. Now wait for our food, which I think is pretty cool. So now we're dined. Aw, this is such a cute family. You know? I just love this family. So I wonder how long it's gonna take for our food but you know we'll see okay how long is it oh i think we're oh my god we chat with the family next to us that is so cute oh my god so the kids are like playing with each other I, oh, that's so cute that is so cute all right i wonder if there's any new skills but right now we got our sims city cheesecake where's our food Oh, our food just came. This is so cool. We got our sparkling water, our, you know, stuff. We got our desserts, so we're getting dessert first. We can- Oh my god, we can take a photo. Oh my god! I'm gonna let the girl take the photo. So we're gonna take a photo, because we're a foodie. I want, you to, I want to see you take the photo. Stop talking. Okay, drink. Oh my god, you like, shove it all in your face. Okay, calm down. Oh my god, she took a picture. Is she gonna put on some- Oh my god, what does it say? We acquired the gourmet skill. Adeline took a picture of an experimental dish. It can be found in her inventory. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. We're like pros. Whoa. Hold on. Let's look at this. This is like a high tech like photo. Like not with those cheap cameras that you get and get to work. But that is like actually it's not quite a high tech photo. But you know. It's better than like what we usually get with the cameras. Um, but oh, right now. We can, we don't own any businesses, so we can buy a resale store or we can buy a restaurant. So I accept my error. Um, I understand why they didn't incorporate this and get to work because it was two separate things, you know, retail is different. So we called our waiter and they took away our food, apparently. And they took away our food, apparently, and they keep taking our things and they're gonna, oh my god, so you're gonna fill it? No, we're gonna throw it out. Oh my god, this food, like, it looks kind of scary. Like, it's so ancient. Like, what is that? Sparkling shells with a rock in the middle. It's uh, like a ranch dressing on the side. Okay. If only Thomas had level 5 cooking, he could learn this cook at home. So you need a level 5 in gourmet cooking to learn this skill. Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, and where are you going, little kid? Oh, to pee. Okay. Um, so we're, now we're done with our food. Where do we go and pay? Do we go and pay? Um, restaurant. We can do- Ooh, we can end our meal and pay. We can actually deliver compliments to chef. A lot. Oh my god, Eliza Pancakes is a chef. We can deliver our, like, compliment to her food. So yeah, you can tell that. Is this the owner? Let me see. Is this the owner? No. It's not. You like the food? Yes! You like the food? Yes? Wonderful. I'll let the chef know how happy you were when I have a chance. Customers are loving the cooking chef. Keep up the good work, but we don't we don't work here. Oh, so that we can go in buy mode and build mode, and oh, we can change the name. Are you crazy? We can like add stuff. Are you kidding me? Wow. 
Um, we can make a custom menu. We can set the presets to like see. It's pretty cool. Chefs, waiters, hosts, attire, form. Oh, oh, I like this. We can click the view the menu. We can, can we change the menu? To customize the menu, click edit menu. Edit custom menu. That's so cool. You can pick anything you want, literally. Wow. That's amazing. Alright, I, I really like that. Alright. Um, so, uh, yeah, now let's go and buy our own restaurant, and then we will see how it is like to run a restaurant. So, um, uh, yeah, let's go and start our business. So let's select an option. We'll buy a restaurant. Alright, let's see if we can get, like, the cheapest one. Um, we can buy this restaurant. So we'll buy the Hogan's Burger Bar. It's the cheapest out of all of them. And we'll buy it furnished. Your bill of $122, so we charge you. Don't forget next time. So you bought a restaurant. Now what? Owning a restaurant is hard work. Approximately 59.5% of new restaurants fail within the first year. However, with proper management, skilled employees, a delicious menu, and a little plasma, sweet, sweat, and tears, your restaurant might just succeed. Oh, that's cool. Alright, so this is Hogan's Burger Bar. Currently closed. What's the restaurant settings? Price markup is normal. We should do advertising. We'll do silver. Um, we'll do the dress code every day. We'll make the chef's outfit this and this, for the male and female. For the wait staff, we'll give them these. And you can obviously customize them, but I'm not going to do that right now. And for the host outfits, we'll give them that. And, um,. We can sell the business, apparently. Alright. Um, we can open. We have perk points. We can manage our employees. Let's manage our employees. Okay, we can select someone below to hire. Okay. Um, none of them are good. <laughs> what? I guess we'll hire this girl, Lindsay. Okay, that's the current chef. Okay, we can view the last finances. You can view growth opportunities. Um, we have our employee report. Uh, we have our business funds. Can we change the name? No? We can edit the restaurant menu. Um, can we not, not change the name? We have our one star, because, you know, we're that people. Um, so what can we do as, like, the owner? Adeline has hired a new chef. Okay. So, we work here. Um, so, do we, like, what do we do? I always wanted to know what this is. Let's turn this on. I want to see what this does. Oh, it's like a fire that you can turn on with like... Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so where's like our customers at? I don't know, but okay. We'll just cook. What do we What do we cook? Cook something. I don't know what to cook. What do we cook? Cook some... Cook... Nothing? You have insufficient funds. Wow. Mother load. Okay. Let's go and make something. Let's, can we finish cooking this? Oh, well, the chef does this, so we just gotta manage, like, the customers, so... We'll... We won't just allow new customers. We always want new customers. Oh, wait, you have to open it! We're not open! Duh! Restaurant unfunctional. Okay. Have a functional restaurant, you just have to sure have a host, waiter, and chef has been hired. Okay. Where's our employees? Okay. How do we, oh, we have to hire. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Um, we'll hire Ch China, like black, you know. But um, we'll hire this guy Malachi. Okay, these are all our hired employees, and now we're open for business. Literally, open for business. So I'm assuming these stars are people that like come to the restaurant. So um, let's management. Let's welcome them to the restaurant. Okay, um, should we like set them to a seat, or, no, we should, um, manage Malachi, um, criticize, check up on, pay for training, oh, we can do training, promote to host, we can praise him, okay, we have our waiter, okay, um, and we have our chef, you know, on the job. And I like this because there's not, like, one staff member or two doing the same thing. Like, everyone's doing something different on, like, in Get to Work where, like, you'd have to choose for what everyone has to do. Like, it just it's just set, you know? Um, so let's look at the perk points. So 
We have a ton of perk points, there's a chef's hat, well managed, ingredient discount, tidy tippers, well funded foodie, foodies, ingredient discount, low employee training costs, it's, it's a lot, so I'm definitely going to experience this, I mean, I'm definitely going to experience this in my get together LP, you know, so we'll see, um, and um, yeah, so that is is pretty cool um can we check up on our like a instagram or something um we could take a selfie can we like post it on like instagram can we i don't know but there's no customers how do oh, oh we have to put our ads yeah we gotta put our ads up um manage employees restaurant settings we're gonna do the diamond okay hopefully people will come to our restaurant now we can oh people are coming oh my gosh Get a table, get a table, get a table. Oh my god, we better be packed. <gasps> yes! Okay, so now we're sat. Let's see our waiter. Sit down! Oh, they have to choose where to sit. Oh, no. Um, are, isn't the waiter... Hello, waiter! Manage. Um, check up on... You know, better do your job. Things are okay. I can't say this is my dream career, though. Jeez, you're harsh. Okay, so I'm assuming these are the level um, of things they, their opinions are. So this guy is wishing, wow, this place has some nice decor. I wish they had more friendlier service. Um, this girl is like, I wish they had more friendlier service. And the same for her. So they have their opinions. So you can see like you, what you need to change or what you should change. So I think that was pretty cool. Alright, that's pretty nice. I'm definitely going to play a lot of this. Like, it's going to be so much fun. All right, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty pretty fun. All right, um, so yeah, um, that was pretty cool. So um, yeah, guys, this is all for this dine out. Ex this I almost said expansion pack is basically an expansion pack. So um, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all like this. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to comment down below if you would buy this expansion pack or not. And yes, I do recommend this expansion pack because I feel like there's a lot to offer and it's definitely worth your $20 on like some of the other Sims 4 franchise things. But you know, that's just me. That's just me. You might have your different opinion. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely do recommend this and you can buy this on Origin. The link will be in the down bar. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys!